Hi everyone, welcome to the lab. This time I have 24 inch Dell monitor for repair. This thing is quite old, but still not bad at all. 1920 by 1200 pixels. And it doesn't power up. Let's take a look. Here is the back of it. And this stand can be easily detached by a push of this button. Here is the model 2407WFPB and it has a variety of inputs Component video, S-video, Composite video, VGA and DVI And these are quite handy for testing old equipment like VCRs and such It also has a built-in USB hub This is the input Couple of outputs here, couple more here on the side And a card reader here, compact flash SD card and such but unfortunately the card reader is quite old and the SD card reader let's say is limited by 2 gigs I believe it turns out this thing should be disassembled from the front we should uh, pull this bezel off I already started doing that but I want to go slowly and carefully so I will do this off camera I managed to unclip the bezel, but it turns out there is a ribbon cable here going to a small board with these buttons and LEDs here, so we cannot lift the bezel. I believe we should turn this thing over now. And I already removed these four screws, so now we should be able to lift the back cover. I took this shield off and I think I see a problem. Look at this high voltage capacitor and the power supply. This leg is corroded. Let's take a closer look at this switch mode power supply. This black line is the isolation between the primary side and the secondary. This is the mains input, fuse, some filtering, bridge rectifier, some more filtering. I guess this part must be for power factor correction. This is the high voltage cap, which seems to be dead. Optocoupler across the isolation gap, a capacitor here, two more optocouplers here. This must be the main MOSFET, some passives here, main transformer. These must be diodes on the secondary side, smoothing capacitors. And this is a 12 volt connector on the bottom of the unit. I think this is for an optional sound bar or something like that. On the other side we have some more stuff, including these two chips. And again this must be for power factor correction and this must be the main PWM controller. I started desoldering this capacitor and the corroded leg fell right off. So, this is 450 volts, uh, 120 microfarads capacitor and uh, 105 degrees C rated. I happen to have a replacement, 150 microfarads, slightly more, but that should be fine, 450 volts and also 105 degrees C. I started checking other things. Other capacitors seem to be fine, but I see that this resistor is blown. Maybe you can see a black dot on it here. And this MOSFET is shorted. Hopefully you can see now there is a burn mark on it. And it is open. And here is the shorted MOSFET. These three pins. I desoldered the damaged parts. We can see even larger burn mark here on this resistor. It is a current sense 0.22 ohm resistor marked uh, red, red, silver. And there is another one here, so I could verify with my LCR meter. And this is a 
MOSFET and channel 600 volts, uh, 10 amps, I believe, marked K3502 on the package. And I happen to have a few resistors from another project, slightly larger, because they are 3 watts, 5% from DigiKey. The size is not a problem, plenty of room here, but I don't have anything like this MOSFET handy, and I couldn't find them on DigiKey or Mouser. But I found them on eBay from the US, so hopefully they are genuine, should be here in a few days. Here I have a few replacement MOSFETs, let's put the new parts in and see what happens. I'm trying to slowly bring this thing up, and I think something else is wrong. It starts taking a lot of current when the voltage is still quite low. Watch the amp meter. We have 3 amp range here, and 1 amp is here. So, I start increasing the voltage. And here we have more than 1 amp, and uh, the voltage was still below 30 volts. I suspect that the controller chip is dead. Here we have this chip, L6561D in SO8 package, power factor corrector, made by ST, all sorts of specs here, and a typical application circuit right here. So, we had this capacitor dead, this MOSFET shorted, and this current sense resistor blown. I wouldn't be surprised if the chip died as well. Here it is on DigiKey, 91 cents a piece, plenty in stock, can ship immediately. Here I have a couple of new chips from DigiKey, let's replace and see if that fixes the problem. Here is this chip desoldered using my Pace hot tweezers with appropriate tips for this use case. It was quite easy. So, I have a new chip installed, and now there is no excessive current, but there is no output either. So, I started checking, and in particular, I'm monitoring the power rail on that chip, using this isolated scope. It should be around 15 volts according to the datasheet, but there is nothing at all, just some noise around 0.3 volts. I realized that I forgot to check a couple of transistors here. We are looking at this board under my microscope, and here is one of the transistors right next to the chip, and it is marked ZA, and also we can see base emitter collector on the silk screen. I looked it up, it seems to be a simple 3906 PNP transistor. So, if we put a negative probe on the base, we should see a couple of diode drops. And there is nothing here. And a short here. So, I think this guy is dead. There is one more transistor here. We can see gate, source and drain on the silk screen. Uh, we can see 7KWKP on the package. I don't know what it is, but it must be a MOSFET, so we should see a diode drop between drain and source, here it is, nothing the other way around, and we don't see any shorts, so this does not mean it's good, but at least there is nothing obviously wrong with it. So I replaced this transistor, and the power supply still does not start. And it seems to me that this transistor is used to shut down this uh, power factor correction chip. And I thought maybe it's okay to ignore this power factor correction for now. The rest of the power supply should work just fine without it, if it does not short anything, of course. And it does not, because the high voltage rail on this uh, large capacitor is fine. And this second chip which is the main PWM controller, NCP1200, receives power from this high voltage rail through this 10K resistor, and the resistor is discolored. So I think this second chip is dead as well. 
Here I have a few replacement chips I bought on eBay from China. I hope they are genuine. So a new chip is installed and I also replaced that 10K resistor because it looks a bit burnt. And now I do see some signs of life. We are looking at the gate of a MOSFET here which is controlled by this chip. And look at this. There are some pulses but still no voltage on the secondary side and that I believe is because the power supply is in standby mode because the power button is not connected. So let's put it back into the monitor and check. Now check this out. We crank up the mains and here is the power button, this first one. It's on. And here we are, we have a picture. Sorry about these reflections. And now I'm using this uh, kilowatt meter trying to understand if the power factor correction is working properly. The monitor is on and we see about 102 watts and 60 hertz and power factor is uh, 0.74. I don't think this is right. It should be more than 90. So something must be wrong with power factor correction. Another round of checking and I found a faulty diode. It was here in parallel with a 30 ohm resistor. That's why it was impossible to test in circuit. Perhaps I should have desoldered it before or desoldered the resistor to check the diode, but I didn't. And they are between the gate of the power factor correction MOSFET and the chip. No luck, still about the same. Something else must be wrong. One more round of checking and I found an open resistor. Somehow I managed to miss this. I thought I checked. Here it is, between that large uh, current sense resistor which was blown and the current sense pin of the chip, which is pin 4. So here it is, should be 1K, but it is open. Now check this out. The monitor is on, consuming about 97 watts, and the power factor is 1. How cool is that? Here we are. Good old Dell 2407 fixed. Thanks for watching. Bye.